Hello, my name is Hyegyum Kim from South Korea, and my presentation title is Hooking Tweakable Even Mensa Ciphers. My content is like this. For introduction, I want to give you my research motivation, starting with authenticated encryption. Then introduce tweakable block cipher and focus cipher. At the end of the introduction, I will show you my contribution. Because my research is in probable security scope, I also want to give you my proof sketch briefly. Introduction section. I think everyone here are familiar with authenticated encryption. Authenticated encryption is a type of cryptographic scheme that serves encryption and message authenticated code. This scheme assures privacy and integrity on the data, and there are many researches on how to make authenticated encryption. The primary research is focused on combining encryption schemes and MAC. MAC then encrypt, MAC and encrypt, encrypt then MAC are the example. But it is natural that directly making authenticated encryption scheme will be more efficient than combining two different schemes. OCB is representative authenticated encryption scheme. AEAD Authenticated encryption with associated data is a somewhat developed version of authenticated encryption. It has additional input associated data that doesn't demand privacy but demand integrity. By adding associated data, AEAD can perform every cryptographic functions. If you want Mac, you can make only associated data input and get tag. If you want encryption, you can make message input and get ciphertext. For authenticated encryption, you can make message input and get ciphertext and tag. The question starts here because AEAD contains all symmetric cryptographic structures. If someone wants to make AEAD, the primitive doesn't have to be a block cipher. From this idea, many researchers studied new cryptographic primitives. Tweakable block cipher is a pioneer. Tweakable block cipher has additional input compared to block cipher, the tweak. Tweak is a public input that makes usability on the block cipher. ZCB is the representative tweakable block cipher based AEAD. It makes some revision on OCB and in 2019, the next primitive arrives. Fox cipher makes additional output to tweakable block cipher. It seems that the message input is popped to two different outputs C0 and C1. That's why the cipher is the Fox cipher. The author of the POC cipher also suggested corresponding AEAD. PAEF is one of that, like the light below. This is the table for AEAD according to primitive ciphers. These AEAD schemes are the most basic AEAD schemes. You can see OCB has a birthday bound and the others have full security. The authors of POC cipher emphasized that PAEF has no constant for cipher call. That means fast as short message. From here, we started our research. POC cipher was new cryptographic primitive. Therefore, there were no research on POC cipher with probable security perspective. We set probable security model for POC cipher and also the most simple POC cipher structure, FTEM, POC Seekable Even Mensur. And we proved FTEM has two thirds of n bit security, which means poking do not degrade the security. 
Next, our security proof section. We first want to show you how we construct FTEM structure. Below is two round even mensal construction. In 2015, the security for two round T cover even mensal construction is proved. They substitute keys in even mensals to tweak key. We don't make detail about tweak key today. From two round TEM, we made FTEM structure like this. Because two round TEM uses two different permutation and two tweak keys, we made poke on two round TEM with one more permutation and tweak key. If you think one round TEM as permutation with masking tweak key at forward and backward, FTEM can be thought as one round TEM then poke and one round TEM respectively. In probable security, when we say some construction is secure, it means the construction is indistinguishable with ideal random construction. For a block cipher, it will be random permutation, and for a tweak cover block cipher, it will be random tweak cover permutation. Then, for a poked tweak cover block cipher, what is its ideal symmetry construction? We made it as two concatenated tweak cover permutation. It means if you made construction query to ideal world oracle, the oracle returns two outputs of different tweak cover permutations, tilde Q and tilde R. We proved security of FTEM with H coefficient technique. Briefly speaking, H coefficient technique separates all possible events with bad and good case then upper bounding bad case probability and good case probability difference, we can prove its security. We show the brief sketch of our proof. We have five bad cases and this slide shows representative four cases because permutation P1, P2, and P3 are public permutations, there can exist collision with permutation and FTEM structure. And FTEM uses, uses tweaky. There can also exist collision between distinct FTEM queries. The black bar means collision between FTEM permutation and white bar means collision between FTEM queries. For example, Red 3 means two different FTEM queries made collision with permutation calls individually and make white board collision between them at another permutation. With these base cases, we could upbound bad, bad probability and good probability difference like below. The total security is like this. It seems somewhat complicated. But the point is, it has two thirds of n bit security, same with two round even mensur. The TEM paper showed tweaking do not degrade the security of two round even mensur, and we showed poking also do not degrade it each security. This is our summary. Poke cipher is a cipher that has one input and two outputs and efficient in short message AEAD and poked tweakable even mensur, the most simple model of poke cipher has two thirds of n bit security, same order with two round even mensur. And there are some natural way to expand our result. Extend the poke round or multi poke and multi user security. My presentation is over and thank you for listening.